I'm somebody that that has a lot of um, subconscious tension in my neck and chest, according to my voice teachers. I'm aware of the movement thing because it really it really distracts from any kind of vocal tension. So I, I'm a big proponent of just moving a little bit while we warm up. less about what happens in the mouth and more about what happens above the mouth. So we could even do this with the mouth closed. Not not clenched, not tight, but just closed. close the mouth or make it smaller the sound has to go somewhere else and it 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 increases the likelihood that it'll go up into the nasopharynx <laughs> So I'm not trying to make a big, beautiful sound. I'm really just focusing on where the sound is going, where I'm trying to, where I'm trying to aim it, and keeping it kind of small and light. Not much sound. Uh, lip buzz, tongue trill, raspberry.
goes high C. Okay, let's sing. Let's start with Big House. And we'll work back to front as we sometimes do. So let's look at the last page, a lot of which is spoken. Um, if I'm rolling into the top of the last page, let me see here. This might be two bars. And a one. Let's build out. And a uh. Big house. One, two, three, four. I want a big house. Good. So, mm, let's build a big house. Let's build a big house. And it's got a crescendo on it. So it starts piano and then it crescendo. So the last one is loud. And then we all sing in unison. I want a big house. Let me turn the keyboard up just a little bit. The last line is, I want, I want a big house with a fermata so we hold it. So this is two measures before the last page. Let me show it to you again. One. Let's build out. And a one. Big house. For one. Let's build out. And a, a. Big house. And a one, two, three, four. I want a big house. Let's go back a little bit to the next logical place. Uh, let's look at top of 18. There is peace, there is love. Let me go back and find where that is. This is two bars before that. There is peace. Okay, I'm gonna park it a little bit closer. Let's do sopranos first. I'm at top of 18. We're gonna start sopranos out. There is peace, there is love, there is joy. One, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. I want a big house, 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 I want a big house. 
That's why you guys, you sopranos, get paid the big money to sing all those high notes. Here it comes again, top of 18, sopranos. A one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. I want a big house, I want a big house. I want a big house, I want a big house. I want a big house, I want a big house. So the one of the, the one of the notes that's a little bit unusual to me is at 108, which is bottom of 19. Sopranos, you have I want a big house. That D flat feels like it kind of doesn't belong in it doesn't belong in the key, but it's a little bit of a strange note. I want a big house. I want a big house. I want a big house. That note's a little bit funny to me. So here's a trick you can do if you if you're finding that this is high or that it feels taxing you can you can cheat and do a little vocal fry in between phrases uh, there, um, uh, there is peace there is love there is joy in that house there is peace there is love there is joy in that house uh, i want a big house you can you can do that in between phrases nobody will ever hear it and it just sort of resets your vocal cords to be functioning the way they're supposed to. One more time, Sopranos, and then we'll move on to other, other parts. Here's top of 18 again. A one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. Uh, I want a big house, I want a big house. Uh, I want a big house, I want a big house. I Hear altos now, top of 18, please. Altos alone. Here we go. A one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. So you guys have the same thing over and over again. The trick will be kind of keeping track of where you are. How many times is it? I want, uh, there's peace of love, join the house once. Peace of love, join that house twice. Peace of love, join that house three times. Peace of love, join that house four. Peace of love, join that house five times. So however you want to keep track of that. Let's do sopranos and altos together now. This is top of 18. <laughs> A one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is the big house. I want a big house. There is the big house. I want a big house. There is the big house. I want a big house. Let's build a big house. Let's build a big house. Let's hear you top of 18, please. I want a big house. One, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. And a one. Let's For one. For one. Let's Big house. And a one, two, three. I want a big house. So it's a duet with the alto, same number of repeats, and it's it's a, it harmonizes the alto line. So let's try, actually, it's in unison with the alto. Excuse me. Let's try tenor and alto together. Here we go. Top of eighteen. One, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is 
Hey, guess what? The basses have the same thing down an octave. Here's the basses. On a big house. A one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. I want a big house. I want a big house. I want a big house. So it starts the same as the other parts, and then it goes and does its own thing. Here's the bass again, starting top of 18. On a big house. And a one, two, three. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. There is peace, there is love, there is joy in that house. I want a big house. For a one, two, three. I want a big house. For a one, two, three. I want a big house. And a one, two, now the spoken part. That's And a one, big. Four one, let's build a four one big house. Four one two three. I want a big house. Let's try all the parts, top of eighteen. So we kind of start together, and then soprano and bass end up doing their own thing. Here's top of eighteen. A one two three. There is peace. There is love. There is joy in that house. There is peace. There is love. There is joy in that house. There is peace. There is love. There is joy in that house. There is peace. There is love. There is joy in that house. There is peace. There is love. There is joy in that house. Let's build up big house. Let's build up big house. I want a big house. How are we doing on this section? Everybody feeling okay? Want, do you want to touch on anything in particular, isolated or slowed down? I don't mean to go too fast. Uh, let's, let's find the next kind of logical section. So let's go bottom of 15. This is a little tricky here. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Uh, the glissando. How how long do we hold the note before we glissando, or will you help us? Uh, that's a little bit at the discretion of each conductor. For to me, it feels something like this: I want a big house. I wasn't really counting. I'm just doing it by feel. I want a big house, and the glissando is at the at the very end, near the cutoff. Right. Probably each conductor will do it slightly differently. It's it's kind of at discretion. It's not really a set prescribed length, you know. Okay, bottom of fifteen, measure eighty-five. Let's start with the bases. Let me find where this is real quick. Let me go back one extra measure here. Let me turn the click up a little bit. And let me turn the other parts off for the moment. So we're just going to do basses first and then we'll add each part. See where I am now, bottom of 15? Here it comes. section that we looked at before. So it's the same thing over and over again. The trick will be to kind of just keep track of where you are with your eyeballs. Okay, tenors, let's hear you at the same spot. Bottom of 15, tenors. So 
the I think the trickiest part of the tenor is the beginning of it. Walk in broke broke where they walk out heel two three. Mm, one, two, three. Mm, one, two, three. Mm, and then this thing. I want a big house. And that part repeats over and over again. But the little gospel sort of hummed licks, I think, are a little tricky, at least at first. So bottom of 15 tenors. Walk in broke will they walk out heel two three mm, one two three mm, one two three mm, I want a big house 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 I want a big house, I want a big house. I think two more. I want a big house, I want a big house. Top of 18. I want a big house. And that one gets cut short. Let's try tenors and basses together. Bottom of 15. I'm starting right at 83. Here it comes. Walk in Brooke while they walk out. I want a big house. 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 I want a big big house. I want a big house. I want a big big house. Just that much again, tenors and basses. Let's go bottom of fifteen. Then we'll add alto in a minute. Here, here it comes. Walk in Brooke while they walk out I here. want a big house. Mm -hmm. I want a big house. Mm -hmm. I want a big house. Mm -hmm. I want a big house. 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 There is peace. Are we doing tenors and basses? You getting all that? You guys are good. I think of the tenor part as kind of syncopated and tricky. Okay, altos, let's hear you alone for a second. I'm starting bottom of 15 altos. So that your your part kind of flows uh, right from the previous section. Here it is again, bottom of 15. I guess you could even number them. You know, if it's six in a row, you could you could number them as a way of keeping track. If I were to label this section, I would call it the repeated vampy jam thing. It's sort of like it's sort of like a breakdown that you know the band the band stops playing for a minute and there's this sort of uh, repeated mantra kind of thing over and over and all the parts they're all doing something different but it all flows together here we go again altos bottom of 15. that's two here comes three I want a big house. I want a big house. that's four I want a big house. five Six. I want a big house. Seven. I want a big house. So for altos, it happens eight times. Let's do the bottom three parts. Bass, tenor, alto. Bottom of 15. Here it comes. Walk in, walk in, walk out. I want a big house. 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 I want a big
Kind of cool, right? I think it's great writing. Okay, Sopranos, let's hear you alone. You sometimes are with the tenors and sometimes not. Here's bottom of 15, Sopranos. Tricky in spots, I think, Sopranos. So, for example, the last three notes of 16 going into 17, Sopranos. A one, two. I want a big house, a big house. A one, two. I want a big house, a big house. I want a big house, a big house. Let's do the whole thing, Sopranos, just so we have a sense of it. It's easier to hear when it's by itself and then harder to hear when all the other parts are in. So here's bottom of 15, Sopranos. Walk in broke while well, they walk out heel. Two, three. Hmm. A one, two, three. Hmm. One, two. I want a big house. Three, four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three. I want a big house, a big house. Four, a one, two. I want a big house, a big house. I want a big house, a big house. Four, a one, two. There is peace, and so on. Let's try it with the track, Sopranos, and then we'll see how you're doing. This is bottom of 15, Sopranos with the track. Walk in, walk, 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 Sopranos and altos together. Here comes bottom of 15. Add the tenors. Bottom of 15, soprano alto tenor. Here comes. Bases, bottom of 15, all parts. Here it comes. And one, two, three, four. Walk in, broke, only walk out. I want a big house. 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 Two, three. I want a 
got a big house. Are you exhausted? So what you're saying is you want to build a big house. Uh, what what sections do you need to go over slowly or in isolation just on those pages, bottom of 15 to the end? You feel pretty solid on it? Are, are we going to have a sax or piano solo going with us or what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're definitely going to have have piano. Uh, but I don't know what if Jonathan Miller has uh, hired drums. I think he's hired a bass player. So he'll probably have bass on it too, but I don't know if, if he's hired a drummer. Let's go back now. Let's just go back one page uh, to bottom of 14 or the pickups to the bottom of 14. It's kind of the chorus of the thing. Um, the sopranos have, this is the last note, top of 14, going to the measure 77, bottom of 14. Sopranos, uh, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave, and if they walk in broke, well, they walk up heel, two, three. Mm, and that's where we just were a minute ago. Bottom of 14 again, Sopranos. So one, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave. And if they walk in broke, well, they walk the heel. Altos, let's hear you. A one, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave, and if they walk in broke, well, they walk out. I want a big house. One more time, altos. Bottom of, pick us to the bottom of 14. A one, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave. And if they walk in broke, well, they walk out. I want a big house. Let's try soprano and alto at that spot. Let me find it real quick. 76. I think this is it. Same. So it's a, it's a measure with six beats in it. Scene two, three, four, five, six. I want, I'll count it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me turn off the tenor and bass. And I'm going to go back one measure more so we get a little bit better flow into it. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody... Let's do alto alone for a second. It's kind of a tricky uh, spot for the altos. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. add the soprano back in so I'm I'm kind of starting at 74 one two three four five six I want a big house with a big front door wide enough to always fit one more where everybody's on it's late when they leave and if they walk in broke well they walk up I want a big house okay tenors let's look at your line for a second I want a big, here we go, one, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody, sorry, where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave. And if they walk in broke, well, they walk out healed. One more time, tenors. Ta last note, top of 14. Two, 
three. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more, where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave, and if they walk in broke, will they walk out healed? With the track tenors, here it comes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out here? One more time, tenor. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out here? With the altos, here it comes. Five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out the Sopranos, top of uh, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always be one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave, and if they walk in broke, will they walk out here? I want a big house. Bases. I want a big house, here comes a one, two, three. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out? He, sorry, walk out. I want a big house. Goes right into the next thing. One more time, basses. Two, three. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's late when they leave. And if they walk in broke, well, they walk out. I want a big house. Want a big house? Tenors and basses now, please. Top of 14. Here it comes. Actually, just basses one time by yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. If they walk in broke, will they walk out? I want a big house. Sometimes after we rehearse, you know, I go upstairs and my family's up there and I'm singing these songs and they're looking at me like, what is that song? It'll just be some obscure middle part of this, like, you know, the bass part of the tenor or not the, not the main melody, just some random chunk from the middle. Jennifer's up there cooking or something and she's looking at me like, you're weird. Going on 28 years of weird now. March 9 will be 28 years of weirdness with Paul. She gets uh, she gets the Congressional Medal of Honor, I think, for sticking with me or something, whatever, whatever is commensurate with that level of torture and sacrifice. OK, tenors and basses together, uh, top of 14. Here it comes. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out here? I want a big house. One more time, tenors and bass. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out here? I want a big Let's add alto. Here we go. Five, six. I want a big house with a big front door, wide enough to always fit one more. Where everybody's welcome and sleep when they leave. And if they walk in broke, will they walk out? I want a big house. 
add the sopranos. Five, six. I want a big house with a big front door. Wide enough to always stay in one more. Where everybody's welcome, it's made where they leave. And if they walk in broke while they walk out, I want a big house. wild so dancer people who dance they count off things like this a five six seven eight they do things in groups of eight but musicians count things off a one two three four so i was once for for a short time i was in a little vocal quartet and the other three people were all dancers they were singers too but they were they had a lot of dance background and they would always count the songs off a five, six, seven, eight. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. Music is one, two, three, four. Dancing is five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's move on to another song, shall we? Let's uh let's work a little bit on I Bought Me a Cat because it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Once we learn it, it won't be, but while we're learning it, it kind of is. So last page, page 14. Let me get the let me get the song file open. Two. A five, six, seven, eight. I bought me a cat. See, it just doesn't. It just doesn't flow the same way. I don't exactly know where I am, but I'll figure that out. So for example, the bass is top of top of 14, the last page. My goose says qua qua. My duck says qua qua. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle I fee. One more time, bass is top of 14. So the first jump is my goose says qua qua. And then it goes, my duck says qua qua. Here we go, basses. One, two, three. My goose says qua qua. My duck says qua qua. One and two and three. My cat says fiddle I fee. Let's try that with the track. Let me show it to you, basses. Let me mute the other guys real quick. My horse says nee, nee. Oh. My cow says ball, ball. My pig says griffy, griffy. Here it comes. My goose says go, go. My duck says quay, quay. My cat says fiddle like fee. Let me show it to you again. Griffy. My goose says go, go. My duck says quay, quay. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle like fee. So tenors at top of 14, you have. Hen says, hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, call, sorry, call, call. My duck says, quay, quay. One, two, three. My cat says, fiddle I fee. Everybody's last line is the same. No, it's not. The, uh, yes, everybody's last line is the same. Tenors, once again, top of 14, right on the word hen. Ready, go. Hen says, shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says, call, call. My duck says, quay, quay. One and two and three. My cat says, fiddle I fee. 
Let me back the track up one measure tenors. So we're going to start a little bit before that. Uh, let me mute the bass. Here's the tenor. One. Two, three. My cat says feel like feet. Here comes again tenors. Nee, my girl says ball, ball. My big says griffey, griffey. My hand says shimmy shake, shimmy shake. My goose says go, go. My duck says quay, quay. One, two, three. My cat says feel like feet. What was old Aaron, what's his name? Who am I thinking of? The composer. What's his name? Aaron Copeland. Copeland. What, was he, what was he thinking? Right? What was he thinking when he wrote it? He was thinking, that sounds cool. Uh -huh. Let's make him sing these wacky lines. Okay, tenor and bass at the end. Here comes. This is starting from bottom of uh, 13, really. Me. My girl says ball, ball, my big says griffy, griffy, my hand says shimmy shake, shimmy shake, my goose says go, go, my duck says quay, quay. One, two, three. My cat says feel like feet. So obviously the, the, on the last page, the, the bass's entrance is delayed on my goose says go, go. One more time, bottom of 14, tenors and basses. Me, my girl says ball, ball, my big says griffy, griffy, my hand says shimmy shake, shimmy shake, my goose says go, go, my duck says quay, quay. One, two, three. My cat says feel like feet. Altos, top of 14. Hen says shimmy shake, shimmy shake, my goose says call, call, my duck says quay, quay. One and two and three, my cat says fiddle I feed. One more time, altos, top of 14, ready and go. Hen says shimmy shack, shimmy shack, my goose says call, call. My duck says quay, quay. One and two and three, my cat says fiddle I feed. Let's try altos in real time. So I'm, I'm starting bottom of 13, so you have a chance to jump on the moving train, as it were. So the, the line before the line we're jumping in on is my pig says griffy griffy and then we're kind of jumping in at the next line which is my hen says here comes altos let's put the tenor with that now bottom of 13 tenor and Alto. Me, my girl says ba ba. My big says griffy griffy. My hand says shimmy shake shimmy shake. My goose says go go. My duck says quay quay. One two three. My cat says feel like feet. Let's put the bass with that now. Bottom of thirteen, and then trying to jump in at top of fourteen. Me, my girl says ba ba. My big says griffy griffy. My hand says shimmy shake shimmy shake. My goose says go go. My duck says quay quay. My cat says, feel like feet. So all the other parts, after my goose says, caw, caw, my is here, it's an F, except the bass. They have my, everybody else says, caw, caw, my duck says, and the basses go, my duck says, caw, caw. So it's, it's, a little detail, but it's obviously something that he intended to create a sort of a cacophonous dissonant sound on purpose. Hey, Sopranos, let's hear you a little bit. Top of 14. Hen says shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says call, call. My duck says quay, quay. One more time. So this is, this is a line that you end up singing quite a few times in the song. Hen says shimmy shack, shimmy shack, my goose says call, call, my duck says quay, quay. Let's hear the, uh, the sopranos alone. I'm going to roll at bottom of 13 and you'll try to jump in top of 14. Me, my cow says bo, bo, my pig says creepy, creepy, my hen says shimmy shake, shimmy shake, my goose says bo, bo, my 
cat says quack, quack. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle, I feed. Bottom of, bottom of 13 again, sopranos. Here it comes. My cow says ba, ba. My pig says creepy, creepy. My hen says shake, 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 shake. My goose says ba, ba. My duck says quack, quack. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle, I feed. Let's put the alto with that. Rolling in bottom of 13. Just jump in as best you can. My cow says ba, ba. My pig says creepy, creepy. My hen says shake, 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 shake. My goose says ba, ba. My duck says quack, quack. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle, I feed. Here comes the tenor with those three parts, starting bottom of 13. Hey, the cow says ba, ba. My pig says creepy, creepy. My hen says shake, 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 shake. The goose says go, go. My duck says quack, quack. One, two, three. My cat says fiddle, I feed. Put the bass with it, please. Hey, the cow says ba, ba. My pig says creepy, creepy. My hen says shake, 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 shake. The goose says go, go. My duck says quack, quack. Two, three. My says fiddle like me. Now let's go back a little bit to the slow part at top of 13. My wife says, honey. Let me show you that part real quick. My wife says, honey. Honey. My wife says, me. Let's do soprano alone at that slow part. Here it comes. Actually, let me back it up just a little bit so you have a, a little bit of uh, runway to get on here. Under the tree, my wife says, honey, honey. Three, four. My horse says, me, me. My cow says, bo, bo. My pig says, creepy. Just that much again, Sopranos. Top of 13. So you'll hear the under the tree, under the tree. That's a hard line. Under the tree. And then my wife. Here comes. Under the tree. My wife says, honey. Honey. How you doing on all that, Sopranos? I know it jumps around like crazy and it's stoppy starty and fast and all that. Do you feel like you're getting all those notes? Yes, Anne? Um, any suggestion about a breathing? Um, just do it as best you can. So okay. you might just you might have to leave out a word to take a breath and hopefully your your colleagues are singing that word while you're breathing and then you're singing the word while they're breathing uh let's see here horse says nay nay my cow says ba ba my pig says griffy griffy my hen says shimmy shack shimmy shack my goose says call call my duck says quack quack so i'm i'm catching little breaths where the rests are um but i'm just trying to get through it as best i can I think it I, helps it helps me uh as far as all these words so fast is to read ahead especially on this song oh yeah and and the bottom of 12 page 12 the female come in i well it is different rhythm here just want to point out yeah we'll get there in just a second okay okay here's top of 13 one more time sopranos and then we'll add some parts Under the tree, my wife says Let's do altos top of uh, 13, please, at the slow part. Here comes altos. Says, 
So altos, you have, my wife says, honey, honey. And then my horse says, nay, nay. My cow says, ba, ba. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My hen, sorry. My hen says, shimmy, shack, shimmy, shack. My goose says, call, call. My duck says, quay, quay. Here comes again, altos with the track. Alan is saying to me, it seems as if one could sing any note and it would fit with the cacophony. That is most certainly true, Alan. I'm not going to be checking notes. I'm not going to be checking IDs. Do the best you can. Practice, practice as much as you want. Do the best you can. That's all anyone can ask of you. My thunder yonder tree. My voice says Let's put alto and soprano together, starting top of 13. Joy is saying to me, do you know the secret of the Hirschfeld illustration of Aaron Copeland on the cover? No, I don't. Please tell me. I th I've always thought it's such a cool caricature, and I know I'm familiar with Hirschfeld's caricatures of other famous people. Yes. Well, you know, uh, we would all rush to the arts and entertainment section of the New old New York Times when it would come on Sunday for the Hirschfeld illustrations. If you look at the, uh, at the uh, signature on the bottom, it says 60. Now, Herschel had a daughter named Nina, and in the illustration, he has Nina written the number of times that is listed there. So it's listed 60 times. He has Nina written there. I suspect most of it is in his hair, his eyebrows, and his tie. His tie. So that's the secret of the Hirschfeld pictures. Each one of them had a number of the times he wrote Nina. Oh, wow. I'm zoom. I'm zooming in on my iPad here to see it. Yeah, you need need to make it larger. Uh, I think it's super. Cool. I think I think caricatures are amazing. You know, when they really capture the essence of somebody's uh, appearance, even if it's exaggerated. Yeah, well, that's so neat. Each one of their Hirschfelds had a number of Ninas. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, where did I where did I go? Okay, now tenors, please. Top of 13 tenors. You guys still with me? Have I beaten have I beaten the, the joy out of it yet? If not, I'll if not, I'll keep going. The joy. Yes. Here we go. Joy is in the big house. Yeah, right. Along with love and peace. Yes, exactly right. Okay, here comes top of 13 tenors. Uh Wife under yonder tree, my wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay. My girl says, ba, ba. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My hand says, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shake. My goose says, ka, ka. My dog says, quay, quay. My cat says, feel like me. So the first big jump there for tenors is, my horse says, nay, nay, that's an octave. My cow says, ba, ba, minor third. My pig says, griffy, that's a major third. Hen says, shimmy, shack, shimmy, shack. My goose says, qua, qua, that's a sixth. My duck says, qua, 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 that's a major seventh. None of them are the same. I'm so sorry about that, but at least they go by quickly, so that the pain is the pain is but brief. 
Here we go, tenors. Wife under yonder tree. My wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay. My girl says, ball, ball. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My hen says, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shake. The goose says, call, call. My duck says, quay, quay. My cat says, feel like feet. Here we go, tenor, alto, soprano, and by now the basses have all died or gone to sleep. Life from the yonder tree, my wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay, my cow says, ba, ba, my pig says, greedy, greedy. So after we perform this, we might just have a time of confession where I turn to the audience and say, now, anybody who sang a wrong note is going to raise their hand or come forward. Or maybe I'll say, you know, Teal, Teal sang a wrong note in that one measure. Um, let's do basses alone for a second, and then we'll try putting it together and then see what you need help with. Here's basses. Life under yonder tree, my wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay. My cow says, bon, bon. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My goose says, go, go. My duck says, quay, quay. One more time, basses, top of 13. Wife under yonder tree. My wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay. My cow says, bon, bon. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My goose says, go, go. My duck says, quay, quay. My cat says, fiddle I feed. So just for a second, let's try all parts at this section, and then we'll see what you need help with. Top of 13, all parts. Wife under yonder tree. My wife says, honey, honey. My horse says, nay, nay. My cow says, ba, ba. My pig says, griffy, griffy. My hen says, shimmy, shimmy. My goose says, go, go. My duck says, quack, quack. One, two, three. My cat says, feel like me. Take that. Some jazz hands with it, maybe a tip of the top hat. My cat says, fiddle I fee. And we all put it back on together at the same time. What questions do you have on those pages? After Honey, I'm missing the come back in part going at Bastard again by just a second. Is yeah. there a trick? No, well, the trick is that we're following a track right now, which we won't be. We'll be following a conductor. So, so I'll do it something like this. My wife says, honey, and honey, three, four. My horse says, so I'll make it real obvious that we're coming, honey, three, four. My horse says, your conductor will do it some other way, perhaps, but it'll be much easier to find when we're doing it live versus chasing a track. Okay, let's move on to, unless there's a question, let's move on to another song. Yes, Paul, just quickly. Uh, my goose says for the tenor line, what is that interval again? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's a well, you gave me that uh, uh, the octave, which was terrific for helping me with the horse. Um, the, the my trick, goose. Yeah, the, the, the trick that I use for that interval is my body lies over the Good. Thanks. That'll do it. Yeah. My goose says, Coco, my body lies. It's a, it's a major sixth. My body lies or... NBC. Either one of those will get you there. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Let's work on the song Home from The Wiz. 
uh, let's start at 30, bo bottom of 6, measure 30, and let me get the song file open here. I have never seen this musical, either on TV or on the stage. Uh, let me find the spot. 30, 30, 30. I'm going. I have had my mind spun around in space and yet I've watched it grow. Okay, here it comes. This is rolling a little bit before measure 30. Watch it grow. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let's go back. Sopranos alone, please, at 30. This is bottom of six. What's it Time soprano, same place, bottom of six, measure thirty. Watch it grow. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? I forget to say this sometimes, but you can always sing along with your part when we're rehearsing another part. If you're able to find your note and do that, that way you're not just so sitting and waiting. I see some of you doing that anyway. So here's altos. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let them be. Hey, Altos, here's a little cheat for you. If you find that the line at 36 is too high, you can sing it down an octave with the tenors and basses. And it might be more kind of in the alto range. It's up to you. If you're able to sing up there comfortably, that's great. But at 36, if you want to, jump down the octave. Here we go again, uh, altos, bottom of six. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Soprano and alto together. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Good. Let's do the tenors alone for a second, please. Same spot. Watched it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Once again, tenors. Watched it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we 
should believe the things that we see? Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let them be. Top three parts, soprano, alto, tenor. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let them be. Basis alone, please. Watched it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let them be. Bases again. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Let them be. Let's try all the parts. Rolling into bottom of six. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, God, should we walk away? Or would it be better just to let things be? How are we doing on this section? Feeling pretty good about it? I have a question about keys. Okay. Um, we went from E flat to C. Yep. And um, is that uh, then a step and a half up? Um, a half down. Down? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, so now we're at top of eight. Let's do soprano for a minute. Top of eight. One, two, three. that much again top of eight sopranos To the altos now, top of eight. the split altos taught me to love top of nine you can either sing taught me to love or you can sing taught me to love if you're a person who likes to sing the middle notes taught me to love or taught me to love let's try alto and soprano together top of eight please here comes one two three
feeling on that section, sopranos and altos? Do you feel secure? Okay, it is kind of tonal. It's a little bit pre predictable, but there's some tricky spots. Okay, tenors, top of eight. Let them be. One, two, three, four, five, again top of eight Let them be. Top three parts, soprano, alto, tenor, top of eight. Let them be. alone top of eight Let them be. So I think a tricky part for basses is might be a, might be a fantasy. Dee, 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 dee. So your starting note is who might be a fantasy, a fantasy taught me to love. Let's try tenor and bass together, top of eight. Let them be. One, two, ready, go. Ooh, might be a fantasy, a fantasy taught me to love. So real to me. Altos and Sopranos, join us, top of eight. Let them be. Back to bottom of six, rolling into measure 30, where we started a minute ago. Brown in space and yet I watch it growing. Here we go. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better? This section any any requests for something isolated or slowed down okay let's go on then shall we let me see where I am here. Starting top of nine, let's do sopranos isolated for a minute. Top of nine.
do that much again, Sopranos. Top and uh, top and I. <laughs> So let's hear you there. Here comes. So at 46 altos, you've got two choices, or middle people, so real to me, or the alto, so real to me. And then there's another split at 54. So the altos, like yours and, like yours and mine, or if you're a middle person, like yours and mine or if you're a soprano that goes to middle notes like yours like yours and mine sorry like yours and mine <coughs> which which of you are sopranos that go to middle notes do you which of you are altos that go to middle notes? Okay. One more time, altos, top of nine. same spot then we'll work on tenor here it comes To you, please. Soprano. alone please and a one so real to me and I've learned that we must 
us look inside our hearts to find a world full of love like yours and mine. Mine. Nice alto move, a nice uh, octave move. Here comes the bass again. Three, four, a oh, one. So real to me. And I've learned that we must look inside our hearts to find a world full of love like yours and mine. Parts, top of whatever page that is, top of nine. So it's real, so real to me. me. And I find that we must look inside our hearts to find a world full of love. quick back to bottom of six rolling into measure 30 where we kind of started this process let me see where i am uh sorry i'm not in the right spot here comes watch it growing if you're listening god so I'm a little bit before measure 30, bottom of six. Here comes. Watch it growing. If you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Fantasy, but it taught me 